Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to encourage some heavy hearts. I hope this is a blessing for you. We've all found ourselves in this place, one time of our life or another, and it's hard. But God, like peering through a window blurred with rain, emotions run together in a flood of doubt and pain. We pray as best we can. Now we must leave it in his hands. Yet I know when my eyes fail to see, He is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, He is able. And if he chooses not to move in the way we pray he would, I'm confident he's working all together for my good. I will stand behind his word, for he is able. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Questions seem to haunt us night and day. How could God allow my heart to be torn this way? Does he listen when I call? Is he even there at all? Yet I know when my eyes fail to see he is able. Yes, he is. And even though it seems impossible to me, he And if he chooses not to move in the way you pray he would, be confident he's working all together for your good. We must stand behind his word, for he is Yes, he is. You stand on that. Don't you sit up there and let your doubts pull you down and mess with your spirit and make you start to give up on your desires, your hopes, and your, and your heart's cry. Don't you do that. You stand on God's word. If you've got a debilitating illness, 
and it is getting ready to take you under, you tell that illness, you've got to go in the name of Jesus because God's word says, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord because God has not given me over unto death. You declare that word that says in Isaiah, no weapon formed against me will prosper. No weapon, no weapon. I don't care what you pull at me, Satan. It ain't going to prosper because God is for me. And if God be for me, who can be against me? You stand on God's word. You hear me? I'm going to stop before I start crying. But you stand on God's word. God wants you to live. God's will is to heal you. Jesus wouldn't have gone through all that he went through at the hands of his own creation with all those beatings, 39 whoops on his back, 39 stripes. The word says, by his stripes, you were healed. Were, not, not might be, not maybe, not who knows, not if it be. No, you will be. You have, God says, by his stripes, I was healed. You were healed. Like it's already done. That's why he took those stripes on his back for our healing. Healing is the children's bread. And don't you forget that. It is your birthright if you're born again. You hear me? All right.